Okay. Well. So we have the square root of 25 squared divided by 36. And then, Juliana, it's multiplied by r squared times t. So what I'm going to have to do for this problem is obviously we want to simplify it. All right? Now, one thing we get to guys, one thing that help us out with this, when you have so many multiple terms, remember we can apply the product rule of radicals. We can rewrite this as 25 over 36 times the square root of r squared t. Right? Then we can even simplify it further. We can simplify this again by the product rule, and then we can simplify this by the quotient rule. So I'm just going to break it all up just so I'm not trying to overly confuse myself with what exactly all these terms are. So in reality, all I'm doing, when I say this problem, if you guys can think about this in your head, what you're really doing is taking the square root of 25 divided by the square root of 6, multiplying that by the square root of r squared, and then multiplying that by the square root of t. So when you look at this, this is what you're doing. All right. So let's go through the problem. Square root of 25 is 5. Square root of 36 is 6. Square root of r squared is r. The square root of t is square root of t. Fine. Thank you.